Jimmy Rios here from BRP Billet Racing Products. Today we're going to show you how to install hand guards with the BRP threaded bar end inserts. Working with a brand new KTM that comes with the ODI style grips which basically slip on and off with a uh, collar that you tighten up a set screw with to hold the grip on. So I've already loosened up the collar um, and slid the grip out so I can clear the handlebar and I'm going to start by putting a hold in the end of the grip with a uni bit. They work really neat. It needs to be slightly over 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. So I'll start by inserting the uni bit right in the center of the grip there. This particular grip does have a plastic liner all the way around it where normal grips wouldn't. So you wouldn't really want to use this on a normal rubber grip. You would probably just use an X-Acto knife or a blade. I'm going to use the 5 8 11 threaded insert to confirm that the hole is big enough. And it is. On the left side grip, it's not as important or critical as it is on the throttle side. On the throttle side, you definitely want to make sure it's large enough so you have no obstruction uh, and keeping your throttle from functioning properly. We will start off by inserting our tap and turning it about a quarter to half a turn just to get it started. And then what I like to do is I always like to check the alignment of the tap with the handlebar vertically and horizontally to make sure that we're starting off straight. We don't want to go in crooked because you will actually drive the tap in crooked and then your threaded insert will be crooked. Another thing I forgot to mention is you want to use cutting fluid uh, or some sort of lubrication because you are tapping aluminum and it does get a little hot and can gall onto the tap. Um, in this case we're just using WD-40 that works just fine. So I've aligned my tap both horizontally and vertically and I'll proceed to tap the handlebar. So with tapping, you always want to turn in about three quarters of a turn, come back a quarter turn till you break the chip, come back, three quarters of a turn, break the chip, come back. I threaded about three or four turns with my tap and I backed out my tap. Now I'm going to fit check the insert to see how much further I need to go. Keep in mind that you can always thread further, but you cannot take threads away. And ultimately you want this insert to bottom out at the end of the threads. So I'm going to go ahead and set it in there. I'm going to tighten it. And I'm going to count the amount of threads that are exposed. That tells me how much further I need to go. Keep in mind that you need to take into account the thickness of the end of the grip so that the end of the threaded insert is flush with the end of the grip. I slid my grip on to see exactly how many threads I needed to go in to get the optimum distance or location of this threaded insert. And I'm going to guess about one more turn of my tap is going to get me just perfect. So I'll go ahead and pull this grip back off, pull the insert out, and I'll go in and tap one more turn, and we should be good. I've installed the threaded insert using Loctite and tighten it down to where it's completely bottomed out on the end of the threads. I've also installed the grip, in this case the KTM grip with the ODI style uh, collar. I've tightened that down with a Torx bolt. And you can see that I'm pretty flush now, so my handguard is going to be perfectly flush with the end of the grip. It won't smash the grip and it's not protruding out too far. Now that the threaded inserts have been installed on both ends, we'll proceed with installing the actual handguards. I always like to start with the center bolt first, get it started, get about three or four turns in, and then start the outer bolt. We've tightened both bolts, the center bolt and the outer bolt. I've confirmed we've got good clearance with the controls. Uh, understand it, Hand guards are a universal fit and they fit many bikes, many bar bends and rotational positions. So there may be times where you may need to tweak or pull on the hand guard to get it to fit properly. So similar to the left side grip, I've loosened the bolts on the throttle housing and slid the grip out so that I can cut into the grip here on the end. Using my uni bit, I'll open it up to slightly over 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. I've uh, finished cutting my hole, I've confirmed my insert clears nicely, and I'll use an X-Acto blade to cut away any excess grip or anything that might obstruct the throttle from functioning properly. So I started my tap about a quarter turn or half a turn, check my alignment vertically and horizontally, and I'll proceed to go ahead and tap about three to four turns. Again, we don't want to tap too far. There's something I wanted to point out that I forgot to mention earlier. 
Our threaded insert kit comes with two different length inserts, a one inch and an inch and a quarter. This is the inch and a quarter. The longer insert goes on the throttle side because it needs to clear the throttle tube and make sure it does not obstruct the function of the throttle. So now I'll proceed by installing the insert to find out how much further I need to go with my cap. I bottomed out my threaded insert and slid my throttle housing back on so that I could count the amount of threads. I have about four threads maybe five here that I need to, uh, that are exposing. So I need to tap about, I'm gonna say about three and a half turns. I always wanna make sure I have enough of the threaded insert hanging out. Keep in mind, you may have these grips on today that are, let's say a eighth inch thickness on the end, but next time you might buy another pair of grips that might have a three sixteenths thickness. So you're always better off having more thread exposed on your insert than not enough. Before final installation of the threaded insert with Loctite, I always like to take brake spray or some sort of cleaner to get all the oil out of there to make sure that the uh, Loctite works properly. Got all the chips out. Now we'll proceed to install the threaded insert. We finished tightening up the threaded insert, installed the throttle housing, tightening up the two bolts that hold the throttle on. We confirmed that we have good, smooth action of the throttle. Now we can proceed with installing the handguard. We finished installing our handguards and we've confirmed that all functions of your controls are working perfectly fine. You can see in this application we use the uh, BRP Scott Stabilizer handguard mount uh, set up here where uh, it's fully adjustable. We have different tabs for different bar positions, works really slick. Um, we have multiple uh, solutions for mounting your handguard, so be sure to check us out online at shopbrp.com. Uh, also, uh, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram.